gets involved. Excruciating than having to nominate the people you really don't like in the privacy of the diary room. How about doing it to their faces? Whoa. Bet your lads are on. Uh, can we have a light and change, please? <laughs> so earlier today, Big Brother gathered the housemates around the campfire and they were forced to nominate face to face. Here is what happened. This is Big Brother. Housemates should now pick up their Big Brother playing cards and prepare to nominate face to face. Oh. On each card is the face of a housemate who could be nominated. Lucas, Sarah and Scott won immunity earlier. They are safe and have had their cards removed from the deck. Will housemates now choose the two cards and therefore the two housemates they wish to nominate? Connor. <laughs> um, surprise, surprise. First nomination is Dina. Connor, can you give the name of your second nomination? Um, Miss Lauren. Caroline. <laughs> um, Luke. Um, Lauren. Uh, my first nomination is Lauren. Uh, my second nomination is Luke A. OK, my first nomination is Luke A. Uh, my second nomination, I really, really, really did not want to do this, and Lauren. My first nomination is Lauren. My second nomination is Dina. My first nomination is Caroline. The second one, it sucks, absolutely sucks to do. I put Ashley. My first nomination is Lauren. Dana. My first one is Connor. Second nomination is Ashley. My first nomination is Luke. Unfortunately, my second nomination is um, Lauren. Now, this is obvious. Yeah. Me and Caroline just don't get on, do we? Becky, I have to go through, oh, no, sorry. Fine. First nomination is Caroline. Second nomination is Becky. <laughs> the housemates with the most nominations and who will face this week's public vote are <laughs> Lauren and Luke A. <clears throat> so, to confirm. <laughs> face the public vote. Can we have the lights back up, please? So, are the right people up? Yes! No. yes. yes. Oh, that was a really fun oh, yes! Goodness. Lauren is the biggest whinging crybaby yes. I've ever seen in my life. Oh. <laughs> Luke A is very calculating. People need to study people. You see me, I haven't got a degree in psychology, but I am aware. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Luke is calculating? Do you know what? Because Luke sits there and goes, hmm. <laughs> and he just, you know, he come on now. Like everyone else is kind of bold. Like everyone comes at Connor, but at least Connor's bold enough to say what he thinks. Luke is all discreet and acts like the good little boy, girl, boy, whatever. Anyway, he says what. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, Um, I think that what's happened there is it's called strength in numbers. People have nominated those two because you're less likely to be confronted by them later. And I think yeah, that is on. why yeah. they have been nominated. <laughs> to be fair... <laughs> I do think it's fair to say that they're kind of just picking them off again again. Yeah. So, um, do you think the insiders have now got control back of the house? Do you know what? It's, this is like another me and Connor situation because we were close, but Luke ate up against Lauren. I think that's what's going to make it one. upset for them. But Lauren, don't underestimate Lauren. Like, Lauren is a little firecracker. Like, she will... If she thinks this is her last week, she's going to have fun. She's going to let all the people that supposed insiders know how she feels. She's gonna karate chop them. She's gonna karate chop. <laughs> like, but I genuinely think that oh. Lauren, will, well, Lauren will stay, she'll survive. I really do. With a bit of perspective on everything, Siobhan, yeah. and, and having watched things now you've come out, do yeah. you think the right two people are up? I thought Caroline would be up. I thought it'd be Lauren and Caroline. <laughs> I, knew, I knew they were gonna put Lauren up just because I know, I knew that how they were gonna vote, but I thought it would be Lauren and Caroline, and I thought Caroline would go. So I am shocked that Luke is up.
Um, Lauren got seven votes. Do you think she took it well? Well, we didn't really see much we seen from a lot. that. Um, but knowing Lauren as we do, seven votes face to face, how do you think she's... She'll have a meltdown at some point, just like she does when there are no cigarettes in the house. <laughs> I think. Or bacon. Or bacon. I, I, I do think she's going to have one of her... Ah! moments somewhere to herself. <laughs> um, but, you know, Siobhan knows her better than, than we do. She'll yeah. She could rise above it and, yeah. and do really well the remaining days of this week. OK. Uh, let's see how the housemates have been dealing with the news. Yeah, Luke, you're a horrible person. And, you know, I'm sneaky for, like, saying people shouldn't talk about nominations. Please don't get upset, because you know what? It's not even worth them seeing you upset for. That's why I've not Try. cried. That is why I've not cried, because I don't want any of them to fucking feel good about what they've done. I've just... <sighs> I've just worked so hard to get, to get... where I am in my life. Big Brother knows that you've worked hard in your life. And Big Brother's sure you can rise to this challenge. Yeah. I can. I really, really feel for Luke. I really do. Um, Jodie, are you surprised that he's up? Yes, very. Very, very. I had him down probably to win, <laughs> if I'm honest. Like... Cos I just thought... He... I had him in the final five, yeah. if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah. no, I didn't know I whether him... he would win, but I, I... I... had him higher than that, because I just think he's... Well, as he's just said there, like, he's come a long way in life. He's obviously been through a lot. It, being who he is... No, but, no, but being who he is, he's, it can't have been easy. Having that accept, easy. trying to get acceptance from yes. people in a situation yes. he's in, I can't imagine, is an easy thing to do. And as we've heard him say, kind of, you know, a few yeah. times. Um, Siobhan, do you think we'll see a different Luke now? Um, I don't know. Like, I always, even when I was leaving the house, like, I left a message for Luke, hey, like, keep it cute, don't keep it mute, be yourself. Like, you deserve to be here more than, as much as any other housemate. Yeah. But I think this week, it, he, it's, he, he's going to be quite low, but I think he's just going to rise above it and be like, this could be my last week. He's up against one of his best friends. So I think between them, she's, between Adam and Lauren, they're going to give him strength to just have an awesome time for the last week and Do you enjoy think it. he is trying to keep it quite calm? Because, oh, yeah. I mean, watching him, he seems like he... He can get really overwhelmed with things, but he's really trying to suppress it and not let it all go. Yeah, he said that to me loads of times. He's like, Siobhan, like, I feel like I've got so much to say, but I just don't want to, I don't want to say it. And he, he's keeping a lot in, and I'm not sure if that's how he deals with things outside and in, right. the, in the house, that he's just trying to keep it calm, because letting everything out in the house actually can do you more harm than good, if yeah. that makes sense sometimes. Um, Otis, do you think it would have been a different outcome had Sara Scott and Lucas not been exempt? I think the only person who would have, who's benefiting from being immune is Luke. Uh, Luke S, sorry. Mm. And the, the other two, Scott and, and Sarah, kind of... They're pretty safe anyway. They yeah, don't very they, often get exactly. nominated. Exactly. They're, so. like, they're kind of like the wallpaper. They blend in and then they come out sometimes and mix with everybody else. <laughs> uh, it's good wallpaper, that. Um, so they, they wouldn't have been up for the vote anyway, but Luke S, possibly. So he's, he's really benefiting from this. OK, let's do a quick noms down the panel. You've all got your playing cards. I love an okay. accessory. Uh, Siobhan, who would you have put up this week? I would have put up... Um, Caroline. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a hard one. Siobhan, is that with hindsight, though? Or would you have done that if you'd been in the house still? No, because the last, the last few days when I was in there, she was actually annoying me with the bit, right, okay. like, it was a okay, bit too much. OK, next one we got to hurry up, sorry. Um, sorry, it probably would be Sarah. OK. Um, yeah. 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 Otis? <laughs> yeah. OK, uh, Caroline. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because she's just... She's just a piece of work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we are slowly seeing Becky become Caroline's yeah. clone, so she's got to go as well. Jane? Uh, I would have put up Lauren, who's already up, um, <laughs> because uh, she's just annoying. Yeah. And uh, I would have put up Luke S, because... Yeah. 
okay. I didn't like his. I didn't like how after the task, um, you know, when he found out it was a joke, and he started being a bit moody about it. And I was He's like, like, I'm getting really I'd, silly. I'm yeah. Really silly. And, and then when she <laughs> said, you're No, you look. Of course you are. Yeah. And when when Ashley was saying, No, no, you looked fit, and he was like, yeah. Don't lie to me. I was like, oh, oh, um, okay. Down. So sorry, Joe. Enough of that for now, though. Uh, <laughs> join us after the break when Julie James assesses the housemate's body language and Otis will be taking your calls. In the meantime, this is how you save your fave. Now, if you're considering voting via Facebook, we are experiencing some technical difficulties, uh, but you can still vote via the phone lines.